AI world is all set to welcome Apollo, the humanoid robot who will be people's new co-worker at their workplace. This new robot will define the coexistence of men and robots in this tech world. The AI world will have a new dawn as Apollo emerges. That sounds promising, right? Well, let's see what's in store for the AI industry this time. Aptronics is all ready to hit the bar sky high, this time with the launch of its new humanoid robot, Apollo. This can be counted as a potential move to grab the top in the point table of humanoid robotics. What makes Apollo stand out is that it can gel with the human workers in the factory, making resource exploitation nil. There's no doubt that Apollo is going to set the bar really high for other companies to explore the unknown in human robotics. The co-founder and CEO of Aptronics, Jeff Cardenas, that Apollo's entry into human robotics will be the baby step towards a general purpose system that is yet to be a dream of the AI world. That will take Apollo to a whole new world where it won't be restricted to any purpose or function. Instead, it'll be utilized for a wide range of activities that can contribute to the overall development of different areas. The launching ceremony of Apollo was a new experience for tech enthusiasts where the CEO got up to the stage talking about its multimodal capacity and much more with an impressive demo. Now, what makes Apollo so special? The first act of assurance for Apollo came from the CEO of Aptronics, Jeff Cardenas, who got up to the stage and made a lot of fascinating points about robotics that can make people understand the basics of this area, which can make the life of people so much easier in the next 20 years. One area of concern when it comes to robotics is the lack of awareness among the common people, and that's what Jeff Cardenas tried to acknowledge by doing so. Even though a lot is happening in the robotic world, people are less interested in it, and this is where Cardenas hit by saying, everybody will have a robot. Really? Will everybody have a robot? Just like a cell phone, which is an inevitable part of humans now, robots will also grab the position of a lifelong companion who can bring ease to your life where you can save half of your lifetime. You know, in the 90s, I think Microsoft was saying, you know, there will be a computer on every desk and every home. I think in the future, there's going to be a robot in every home. He made it very clear that Aptronics' aspiration and target are to blend technology and humanity just like any other tech company. But the effort they're making toward this goal is commendable, especially when it comes to the humanoid robot Apollo. However, the possibility of such an amalgamation still seems like a dream as common people are still struggling to earn their livelihood. However, having a robot at home, just like any other house appliance, at the price of a car seems to be the most promising thing for the future. And we might just be 30 years from such a reality. Now is that a short time? People have always doubted the emergence of humanoid robots as a replacement for the mechanical work that they do. The first and foremost step to success in humanoid robotics is breaking that shell. Companies like Aptronics have already done an appreciable job in doing the same. Therefore, a period of 30 to 40 years might be enough to make people welcome robots in their homes as another family member. The launch of Apollo also points toward the effort of the tech world to shower the time needed for a technological revolution all around the world. The gain will not be so small for Aptronics since humanoid robots will be the main form factor of AI systems in the near future. Now is this the start of a robotic revolution? Of course it is. Humanoid robots are set to make a big impact on all sectors around the world from the primary sector to the tertiary sector. The world will experience a big change in the manufacturing industry as humanoid robots can cut down the time and cost of the product compared to humanoid workers. That will be said to be a drastic change that can ignite a robotic revolution. Earlier, the computer revolution was unthinkable. Everyone thought computers would never be affordable for the common man, but now it's easier to count the number of houses without computers. Therefore, the chances of a robotic revolution are sky high. This is where a general purpose system comes into play. The world isn't so limited now, and so is the work people are supposed to do. The same goes for robots. The AI world isn't interested in special purpose robots. They tend to see that as a waste of resources as these robots are limited to some function. However, general purpose robots will be more complex and can carry out various functions with single programming in that glasshead. 
the versatility will take the AI world a long way. At the same time, its success will be determined by its affordability, but AI has also made a way out of the same. As the batteries are cheap, dense, and good enough these days due to the potential efforts in the AI industry, it's possible to make a robot affordable for common people as well. The Valkyrie robot was a $5 million robot which weighed 300 pounds. This robot was 6 feet 2 inches in height, and now the goal is to make something cheaper. As everything around AI is getting better and cheaper, a cheaper robot is not far from reality. Imagine a robot at the price of a car. Sounds intriguing, right? The appearance of Apollo was something that made people curious. It looks like a small-scale human being with a glass head, 5 feet in height, and 160 pounds in weight. It's already known that Apollo is going to work alongside humans in factories, especially in the manufacturing sector. It's the golden chance for the secondary sector to utilize the most out of Apollo and its potential to earn some good money. Apollo utilizes electricity to work, unlike other humanoid robots that use hydraulics for function, which is proven unsafe. The engineers have focused the most on giving Apollo a humane touch to make it more approachable and friendly for the users and observers. They definitely won that mission because rather than a robot, Apollo seems to be a friend who can make you laugh and work for you. But will Apollo go on a long run? When the humanoid robots touched reality, one of the most profound areas of interest was labor and a way to manage the labor shortage. This same labor shortage is one of the reasons why the secondary sector is still struggling. Even when people are getting jobs day by day, there's a vast degree of labor shortage on the other side of reality, and that's where humanoid robots like Apollo can make a change that can potentially set the future of humanity. Maybe sometime in the future, it'll be hard to imagine a life without robots, just like we do with electricity and computers now. But is it worrying? Well, yes, to some extent. Even when we say that AI and robotics can make our lives easy and hassle-free, there's something that could not be ignored. This increasing prevalence of AI can diminish the relevance of human power. When robots take up the jobs in factories, who will care to give a job to a human who cannot do half of what a robot does? Therefore, the increasing influence of robotics and its base, AI, should be regulated and what the old needs is a hands-on existence of humankind and technology. One shouldn't overpower the other. The world should aspire to balance. Apollo should aim for coexistence with human workers. What do you think? Will Apollo bring its fruit to the AI world as promised? Please let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more tech adventures. Stay curious tech fam, we'll catch you all in